Okay, are you gonna be okay? She okay. I gave you a full story when my lawyer's present. This victim in a hospital gown did not want to give any details after she was shot in the shoulder, wounded in a crossfire while inside this red car. It was captured on camera as this officer is seen firing bullets and this man huddles behind a car. It was just before 9 Wednesday night at Northwest 22nd Avenue and 66th Street. Family members tell us how the victim was hurt. I was the driver. You were the driver of the car. What happened? What happened to this whole thing? We was going to get fooled. We had to duck. We had to duck. God bless us. God had to shield over us. I was fired. Not the innocent bystander. We're an innocent people. They're innocent going to get We're food. Innocent. These are my nieces. And my birthday's today. And, and we birthday. almost they was killed. died they yesterday. Would have died. This could have been more tragic, and, 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 uh, and we thank God that it wasn't. Robbery detectives had spotted a man on a scooter and tried to make a stop. He shoots at them. The detectives return fire. There is an exchange of gunfire, and the subject flees on foot. No officers are hurt. Surveillance tape from another nearby business shows a man who looks frantic. He runs by with a gun in his hand. You see him approaching this red vehicle. His weapon is gone. He appears to be pleading with the driver. The victim's boyfriend, who is in this car, tells me a stray bullet strikes her while they are in the car. With the door still open, they take off. Then the suspect runs away and jumps over a fence. Police say moments later, the same red car is seen 12 blocks south on 22nd Avenue. That's where police discover the victim had been shot. The victim's boyfriend told me they did not know the suspect and had never seen him before. FDLE, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, is investigating, which is standard procedure in such cases. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade police are urging witnesses to come forward. At Jackson Memorial Hospital, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.